Stay chillin', stay killin', it's your boy Sway, and today we're gonna be going over Lodgen, Texture, Dondolide, and Grass Cash for your Wabajax and custom installs. Like always, 99.9% .9 of the things you need will be on NexusMods.com. Firstly, we're gonna come to No Grass and Objects from Nexus Mods, and you're gonna scroll down until you see how to pre cache all grasses in version 3. You're gonna come here for Mod Organizer 2 that's what this guide is for and you're going to install it as it says so you're going to download the mo2 plugin and you're going to put it into your slash plugins directory next we're going to download grass cache helper ng and we're also going to download world spaces with grass sse edit script for no grass and objects you're going to run this script before you even begin grass cache for this next part we're going to go into s edit and we're going to buy that script that you guys downloaded basically you're just going to right click once everything is done in s edit press apply script and then list world spaces and then once that's done you're going to take that for the next step all right so now for one of the easiest parts so with this thing that we just copied we're going to have to put it into one of our config files so let's go to grass control and we're going to open and explore then we're going to keep clicking and clicking and clicking until we get to the grass control Next up is the last and most important step. We're going to do only pre-generate world spaces equals and then in the quotation marks, you're going to paste what you have to put. So for example, I'm on a modified Ultima list. So these are all the things that I will be generating grass for. While I am here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my grass control TXD looks like. If you want to uh, copy it or use it as a reference, you can. Please keep in mind that this is not the definitive. These are just the ones that I have used that have shown and given me successful generations, with good FPS. So you can also ask your friends or go into the Discord servers and Reddit and see what uh, settings they use as well. And now for the final step is to actually run the grass cache. So like always, come back to Mod Organizer 2 and go to the very top of your screen where the puzzle pieces are as shown on screen. And you're gonna turn on pre-cache grass. This is gonna take a while and sometimes it may take more than an hour. So after this, run it and you know, get something to eat or something. Now that grass cache is done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take it out from our overwrite and put it into an actual mod or you can leave it there if you wish it's up to you but with that out of the way let's go ahead and get into logic all right so first and foremost we're going to be coming to this uh site here it's called uh, step modifications and we're gonna go ahead and grab xlogen beta 110 at the time of making this video that is the latest version don't worry about when it was posted because they update this uh, post all the time uh, we're just gonna grab that and extract it into a dedicated folder like it says here all right so now we're gonna be coming to uh, mod organizer and you're basically gonna come up here and select edit and then you're gonna press the plus sign and you're gonna call it for login there's gonna be a section called binary. We're gonna click the three dots and wherever you put it at. So for example, me was in my D drive, dined a lot, lodge in, lodge in again, and then there's my executable. I'm just gonna click that and I'm gonna press okay. We're gonna add some arguments. Uh, this is very important. Uh, so we're gonna do dash SSE because it's a Skyrim special edition. And then we're gonna do dash D and then just like this. All of this is in the description below. Uh, and you can modify it. So I'm using uh, Skyrim Ultima, a modified version of that. So mine's is gonna be Ultima Stock Game Data. Yours is probably gonna be, um, I don't know, Wundanik Stock Game Data, or whatever you wanna call it. You're also gonna make a overwrite. So for example, I have SSE Login underscore output, and you're gonna press apply, press okay. All right, so for our second to last step, we're gonna be running Login. This process is gonna take plus or minus 30 minutes. Um, essentially, it's going to load all your mods and then you're going to designate settings. On the left-hand side are all the world spaces that it can generate lots for. Um, and then on the right side, you're gonna do terrain laws. This is just how I've always done it. There are many different settings and things that you can do for Login. You can steal these settings if you wish to. Um, there are many different settings and preferences that people use for their various systems Then after once you're done tinkering around with the settings You can hit generate and this will like I said plus or minus 30 minutes Then at the end it's gonna say generation has completed so you can exit out of Login And you're gonna notice that in your output there are two new folders meshes and textures These are gonna be for all the world spaces that you have uh, selected 
and with that out of the way we can go on to the next step all right we're going to keep this very quick and easy you're going to come to nexusmods.com come to dynalog 3 alpha and you're going to download its requirements and the dll like always and then you're going to also download the main file in this file is the text gen and it's also uh, the Dynalod. So as you can see, we have Dynalod uh, 64exe and we also have Texan 64exe. Uh, you're going to put that into its own little fo folder location, like example. So as you can see here, we're in my D drive, we're in Dynalod, where I extracted it. And then within this file is the Texan and the Dynalod. When it comes to Mod Organizer 2, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with Login, and that is come to Texan and Dynalod and, you know, set the binary, set where it's going to start in. Um, and then you're also going to apply the argument, so dash SSE, and make sure that it's looking for your data. Uh, the difference between Texan and Dynalod is that you don't need an overwrite because it's going to throw it somewhere else anyway, and I'll show you that later in the video. For Texan, it's very simple and it's similar to Login. You're going to turn on the application and you're going to configure your settings. If you wish to copy my settings, you can. Keep in mind that I'm not the 100% definitive individual for these settings. You can always ask a friend or go on Discord or Reddit, wherever you get your information from, or other YouTubers, and see what they uh, use for their settings and modify these to cater towards your performance of your system. Once the process has finalized, you're going to come to Mod Organizer 2 and you're going to install it like a regular mod. So you're going to go to the top left, hit that install button and find where you put your Dondalot at. Inside of that folder is going to be a new folder called Textgen Output. Go in there, take the zip and open it up or uh, install it like a regular mod and you're, and you're done. Now for the most impactful chapter, Dindalod. Just like the last two chapters, you're going to let Dindalod load all of your mods. I suggest you to disable anything in your loader that you don't need at this moment. This could be clothes, accessories, weapons, and more. Only keep the world spaces, trees, grass, and or environments. If you don't, you will get errors like I show it on screen, causing you to stop the process and disable those mods. Here are my settings. Like always, I am not the definitive and you should change them to cater towards your, your PC. You can also ask friends for their settings too. Just like the last chapter, you're gonna be prompted to save, zip, and exit. And we're gonna take that zip from the same locations, but this time it's gonna be Dynalot output and turn that into an actual mod. You're going to enable the output from Dynalot and also on the right hand side where your plugins are, you're gonna enable occlusion, dynalot.esp and dynalot.esm, which is its maximum. 